All right, so the first thing you want to do to make your scanning sphere is to go ahead and download this marketplace asset called Good Scan. I will leave a link to it down in the description below. And here's a brief look at their store page. It's completely free. And yeah, it's a really great asset for simple skies. So once you have it downloaded, it's real simple to set up. You just open its folder, go to blueprint right here. And this blueprint, you just drag right out into your level. And if your level, if it looks weird like this, this is because there's already a sky sphere by default. So you just have to find it in your content browser. You could search sky sphere like this and then just delete that one. All right, next what I'm going to do is just temporarily disable volumetric clouds. You can completely leave this off if you don't want them at all, but I just want a clear view of the asset and the clouds are sort of in the way. So I'm just going to disable those. But if we click our good sky and we look over here in its details, as you can notice, there's a whole lot of settings we can mess around with. First things first, we can enable the time of day, which is currently enabled, and we can control it with this float right here. And as you can see, if I can find it, the sun moves around with the time of day. So you can leave it sort of like a sunset over there on the horizon. And you don't have to copy the exact values I have. This is just showing you what the asset does, really. And you can change all these values how you would like. So now next up, there's Sky Presets, which right now I'm in, in custom mode, which means I can basically change everything. But they have a bunch of different suns or not sunsets, but presets. And so, for instance, if I click one of these, like Midnight Stars, as you can see, there's a little bit of moonlight. And there's stars, and the stars kind of twinkle as well. And we could go to a different preset. We could go style snow. It's kind of like a hazy look in the atmosphere. But as of now though, I'm just going to keep it on custom. So I can fully have control of everything. So next up, you can change the sky clouds, which you can vaguely see up in the distance and this is one of the reasons why I want to take off volumetric clouds so you can actually see these cloud textures next up we have the sky clouds coverage which is basically just how thick the clouds are and then after that we have the sky effect which is the different effects of the sky we can set it to storm and have little thunderstorms also, the next thing is a big adjustment to optimizations, because say if I press play, notice how the player can only see the top half of the sky sphere. But if we come out of play mode and we look underneath, all of this is actually a sky sphere. So this next, we can or this next option, we can change it from sphere to hemisphere. And you notice half the bottom half gets chopped off. So it doesn't have to render as much. Sometimes you may need the sphere, but in most cases, you can just do with a hemisphere. And if you really, really need optimizations, you can open up the blueprint. You can open the blueprint. Do not mess with anything. You don't have to worry about any of that. You just click this, click the static mesh in the viewport. You come over here to its static mesh. And you double click this. And its static mesh will open right here. And as you can see, there's 3,000 triangles in this. So if we come over here to reduction settings right here. And the percent triangles. If we bump that down to about 70% and we apply nothing changes but we take a thousand triangles off so we could even bump this down to maybe 40 percent if we wanted to 
it's at 40 percent and it's still a sphere and we're at 1200 triangles now so we can save that and this is even more optimized so now next up is the more in-depth effects i'm not going to go over everything but you have full customization as you can see you know you can affect the sky effect like the sun and stars the sun size right here i can increase the size of the sun i can have a massive sun i can increase the brightness of the sun make it super bright like you're on like an alien planet or something the stars brightness so you could like see stars through the clouds possibly or well if we set it to night you should be able to see it all right here we go i got the stars to display as you can see the stars are in the sky and if i adjust their brightness you can make the stars super bright or super dim where you can barely see them and the uv tile is sort of how big the stars will be the lower the number the bigger the stars are small greater the number the smaller the stars are and as you can see if i scroll through here you can adjust stuff for the moon the moon size the moon brightness storm so if you wanted a thunderstorm i can adjust how bright the lightning is how noticeable it is i can adjust the frequency on how fast it flashes and you can adjust its color I'm going to turn this all back down to something reasonable and that actually looks kind of cool having like oranges orangish lightning and there's also one other section right here which is the advanced section and in this section this can adjust like the movement speed of the mesh of, or of the material and so you can crank this number up and you can get the clown super spinning like you're on jupiter or something you can get the clown spinning super fast you can add a global color to the clouds you can make a horizon fall off so it's harder to see the clouds in the distance and yeah you can fully customize the scene to whatever you like and it's a really cool asset so yeah that was a tutorial or a marketplace review of the good sky asset pack and of course you can dig into its actual blueprints and change anything you like and they have a map and some resources with materials and all that in there you can dig into that if you'd like but that's a little too in-depth for this tutorial but anyways if you enjoyed or you found it useful, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.